Well, we are here in the Big Apple, New York City. Ian Riccoboni, Colts, Cabana, Colt. A proving ground match here with an interesting stipulation. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz. This is a four-quarter survival proving ground match. It is set for one fall. Participant number one is wrestling out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He is 220 pounds. He is professional wrestling. Black real man, Silas Young. Less than one week away from Summer Supercard. Coming to you August 9th, Ian Riccoboni, Colt Cabana, Colt. Proving ground match. If the winner is anybody but Shane Taylor, they get a world television title shot in Toronto. Yeah, a lot is on the line, but Shane Taylor wants to make sure he shows his dominance as the world television champion. And Summer Supercard shaping up to be quite an event. We know Alex Shelley will challenge for the Ring of Honor World Championship. And perhaps one of the three men, not named Shane Taylor, will go on the Summer Supercard to challenge for the world television title. Of course, Silas Young, former two-time world television champion. He will face this man, a man that he low blowed just a couple of weeks ago in Philadelphia to pick up a victory. Our Christian number two is wrestling at a West Palm Beach, Florida. We keep the good ones. Hey, Ian, are you DTF? A down to fight? No, I'd rather stay in the commentary booth. But Josh the Goods Woods is former four-time All-American, University of Central Florida, national champion, 2017 top prospect tournament winner. Of course, the top prospect tournament started at Mass Hysteria. We got some of those matches coming your way in the coming weeks here on Ring of Honor Television. But Woods, no stranger. Look at Todd yeah. Sinclair right in the middle of there. No stranger to Silas Young. And this man, no stranger to New York City, the only native New Yorker in this bout. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz. Artist number three is wrestling out of Brooklyn, New York. Weighing 199 pounds, he's representing the White Blood, Hot Sauce, Tracy Williams. Well, Hot Sauce coming out under the mask. Are we sure that's him? It sure looks like him, Cole. Uh, well, we know Hot Sauce is a wrestling machine. He he might just be one of the machines. Well, it does have a Lifeblood logo on it. I love your explanation of being a wrestling machine. Hot sauce, Tracy Williams with an opportunity. He thrives in these kind of matches. Recently won that four corner survival, coming up just short against Matt Taven, ultimately, for the Ring of Honor World Championship. He also took the train here. Yeah, that's quite a home field advantage. But I think the ultimate advantage will always go to the champion. And there he is, the man himself. Participant <laughs> number four, wrestling out of Cleveland, Ohio. Queen Cree, 138 pounds. He is the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor, of course, very fond of Toronto. That's where he captured the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Shane holding it high. Of course, the highest profile defense to date was at best in the world, defeating Bandito. But he's a man with a lot of confidence, a lot of swag coming in to New York City, Cole. And you can see it right there. Ever since he became the television champion, there's been, uh, I mean, this new level of confidence. Shane Taylor has always had a great level of confidence, but just adding on to it, and he deserve it because he's wearing the gold, and you see it right there. You know, a lot of people have counted Shane Taylor out over the years. And he's the first one to tell you about all those people. He sure is. He's keeping a list. And with every day that goes by, every day that's extended into that world television title reign, he feels like he's vanquishing those folks in his life. The crowd clearly has picked their favorite. It is Brooklyn's own hot sauce, Tracy Williams. There you see Terry, streamer guy. Love our fans here in Ring of Honor. Maybe the Greenpoint Grenade. Wow, that's stomach. a good one. You're an embarrassment to being a man. You're an embarrassment. Referee Todd Sinclair is drawing the assignment for this bout. Look at Josh, he just wants to fight. That's what he does. Yeah, it was in this building where Josh the Goods Woods won the 2017 Top Prospect Tournament. It was in this building where Shane... Oh, look at that. Yeah. It was interesting to see them pair up right away. You can see Shane Taylor was going right for Tracy Williams. 
And Josh Woods going right for Silas Young. Williams with a big open hand and one. And another. And Young and Woods trading blows. I love it. There's action all over the ring. And finally now breaking down a little bit as Shane Taylor has decided to take on Josh Woods. And that's the kind of action you'll see in this kind of match. Shane Taylor delivering a big forearm there. Of course, fans, summer super card coming up less than a week away. August the 9th, Honor Club is the way to watch it. The world title on the line, Alex Shelley challenging for that. The world tag team titles on the line. The Women of Honor Championship on the line. And the TV title could be on the line here tonight. But Shane Taylor has some incentive here too as the Irish Whips fail. Big boots rattle Taylor and Young. And I think you, by incentive, this is a proving ground match. If Shane Taylor is able to defeat any of these opponents, they are unable to have a title shot at any time while Shane Taylor is the champion. And that's some good incentive. As we see here, Woods and Williams. Williams, of course, one of the best grapplers at the professional level. Woods certainly won at the amateur level. And has brought it to the professional level. And that great exchange there. You see the unorthodox fighting stance of Williams works so well. He's got those quick hands looking for wrist control. Instead, now goes for the ankle. Beautiful roll through. But notice how Josh Woods lowered his center of gravity. Stop the takedown. But Williams now working over that leg. Bit so, of a stomping on the foot. He yeah. picks him apart, Ian. Certainly does. And look at that grasp of the hands. Allows him to get better leverage there. Nice drop down. Williams avoids it. Leapfrog caught by Williams. Rolls up Woods. Just a one count. Oh, and look at that. Sticking on him. Woods sucks the clothesline. Misses with a kick. Two evenly matched individuals. And, and over the weeks and months, oh! We've seen Young and Taylor have this sort of loose affiliation. I don't know if we just saw that again, but it's worth noting that both of these men rolled in at the exact same time. Oh, as Williams driven into the barricade. And now we only see two men standing. Interesting point, Ian. It's Silas Young and Shane Taylor. But what if it comes down to these two? What if there is an alliance? What if there is an association? Well, I know Silas Young pretty well, and he will do anything to make sure he looks the best. It's Young and Taylor in the World Television Champion, with the former two-time World Television Champ. And it looks like they are kind of talking out a game plan of some sort. And what did oh, I tell you, Ian? Oh, oh, oh. What did I tell you? And this is why you're such an asset in the booth. They've woken up a sleeping giant, though. I don't know if that was worth it, Silas. It's a dangerous, dangerous man you just double axe handle. Ooh, I mean, if you're going to do it, get the job done. And ducking and dodging is young. Knife edge chop. Whoa! Taylor catches him halfway across the ring into the corner. Oh, nobody home. I got you. Great some space. Ducks the clothesline. Ducks the backhand. Nice drop down from Taylor. Great agility there. Pop, pop, oh! That was an exclamation point if there ever was one. But now you got to be aware of your surroundings at all times, Shane. And it's hot sauce Tracy Williams, who'd love nothing more than to challenge for the world television title. August the 9th summer super card. Ooh. Wow, Williams firing right back. Almost to, to little effect, though. Taylor just, oh. Yeah, but I'll say this, Williams. He can take the punishments. He dishes it out, and he can take it. He will absorb it and come back. Let's just see how much he can take from Shane Taylor. Coming right back. Ooh, crosses. Oh! And that's the one that's dropped into his knees, is Tracy Williams. Still not out of it, though. But Taylor's so dangerous if he finds the off button, it's curtains for Williams. Williams now in a defensive posture, connects with a kick, and the back elbow. Now second rope on the inside, hot saw! Goodness! And Taylor unable to really take advantage as Josh Woods comes into the ring. Taylor caught, and it's Williams! Look at that! Armbar in the rope, 
Silas, you can't win it there, but you can do some lasting damage. Across the ring, we saw Silas Young. Taking out Woods, that has been simmering. The issue between those two men. Woods, who's had no love loss for Taylor. They feuded in 2018. Look out for Tracy from the top. Sauce, drop kick, German suplex, bridge, two. Oh, great move, great move by Williams. Cloverleaf. And we know Taylor's out. Silas Young is out of the ring at the moment. They got their own ring. Separated in the center, but it's Silas Young. Big boot across the face. And in this type of situation, Tracy Williams needed to put that out, maybe cinch it just a little more deeper to get Josh Woods to tap. Unable to do it, Silas Young is able to break it up. Is that the smartest strategy, though? I mean, we know the MMA background of Josh Woods. We know his amateur wrestling background is, yeah, is a guy I, like Josh Woods going to tap. I, right, I don't know if Josh Woods is going to tap, but in that situation, oh, Tracy your... needed to get it done, and he did it. Catches the foot, swings him out. It's Woods off the ropes. Springboard connects. Now you see all of these participants trying to get some kind of situation, offensive situation. And the champ, I got to give him credit. In these kind of matches, it's easy to kind of hide in the background and pick your spots. No, Shane Taylor wants, wants the whole spotlight. Whoa! Exploder! And he just gave a spotlight to Josh Woods. Maybe not the spotlight he wanted for Shane Taylor. Popping the hips up and over. And look at Woods. Woods in some kind of zone right now. Williams trying to put... Put an end to that stunt that he loves this DDT. Can he hit it on the top turnbuckle? Tracy got it! Oh, beautifully done. Pin up, Tracy. Is that enough? Looking for more. Williams to the top. Silas Young stops Williams in his tracks. Chop across the chest. I think that was enough to put out Josh Woods, but there's two, three other competitors. All the way to the top. And how's Josh Woods back? Yeah. Woods emerges. Whoa, where did Taylor come from? Two. Oh, Woods breaks it up just in the nick of time. Look at this, smart, smart move, a veteran move. Locking in a sleeper to try and slow down the most dangerous man at this point, Shane Taylor. Is it a slow down or is it going for a victory? Could be either. Submission expert is Woods, which catches Taylor. 300 pounds. Got him. Knee right to the skull. Silas Young, though, knee of his own. Has him up. Wow, that anarchist suplex. Lance Woods. And it's Williams back to his feet. Single leg, no, countered by Williams. Front face lock. Brain buster! Wow, with a hook to the right leg, you see that? If there wasn't enough momentum in the first place. Tracy Williams uses that right arm to drive down Silas's right leg, and you see the shot. The Hammerstein Ballroom here in New York City. All four men are down. August 9th, summer super card. If Shane Taylor wins, none of these men can challenge Taylor so long as he's champion. Oh, and he's won with that headbutt before. But if anybody else wins, they go on to summer super card. to be Shane Taylor for the world TV title. And that's one, that's two. He's knocking them out one by one. The champ right in the mix here. Oh, look at that. Williams, cross face. Cross face on the champ. Woods is down, Silas is down. Taylor, nowhere to go. Trying with every bit of desperation to get to the ropes. Tracy's well aware, though. Just notice that. Switches it over to the other side. But I think he's got to hook that right arm. Uh, you're absolutely right, Colt. That crossface so devastating. Oh, and Young. He tried to fit it off, finish it off with just a, basically a headlock variation. Not enough. That crossface working so well. And then Full Nelson that time spins him around, knee to the head. It's Young looking for misery. Low blow. Taste of his own medicine. Tyson Claire knocked by the feet. And Woods getting 
coming up in the face of Young. It's Williams, two. Woods kicks out. The block, clothesline, rattles Woods. And look at Tracy going to work now. A little of his own medicine to Josh Goods. Sends him out on top of Taylor. Great offensive maneuver. Sure is. Look out. Look at Silas Young. One, two. Oh, he might have had a handful of tights. Pretty sure he did. Williams confirming it's two. Now moving. Kyle Driver. Oh, a nasty one, two. One, two, three. The winner of the proving ground match, Hutsaw, Tracy. Julio. And as we take a look at the replay here, Colt, that means Hot Sauce Tracy Williams, August the 9th. He's got a date with Shane Taylor. I mean, that is a huge victory after a, a, on a former television champion. You're right, now he's going to wrestle one-on-one -on -one with the current television champion. Let's see if he can keep that streak alive or if Shane Taylor's gonna take him to school. August 9th, Honor Club Summer Supercard. Tracy Williams, Shane Taylor, World Television title on the line. We see the champion now entering the ring. I put you down like everybody else. Man, a few words. It doesn't mean, doesn't need many. Oh, come on. Spinning in the hand of Williams, leaving his title <laughs> in the ring. Snatch it up, is this what we'll see in Toronto? Will the championship change hands? In Toronto the second time in 2019. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen.